in the weather. I understand your car got buried. My car did get buried, and uh, I got lucky. I had a friend of mine, you know, an ex-caller, uh, Dan, come in and give me a hand, and uh, we got the uh, my car move, moved, and uh, he helped me plow, not plow, but shovel it. Uh, it was a lot of snow. That I think a minimum around this area was probably two feet or more, wasn't it? Uh, you know, uh, closer to 30 inches. Baldwin had 30 inches. I think we went, we topped out at about 28 or so, you know. Uh, some areas... As, as I said to a uh, store owner today, I said, if that's the only snow that we get for the rest of the year, I'd be very happy. We got it all at once and that's it. Yeah, well, what I'm really happy about is, uh, unlike New York... City it looks like a town of Hempstead really did a great job at cleaning up. You know, we'll live well, in. Well, I, I I have to tell you, the uh, the side streets are pretty sucky. You know, I mean, uh, I I was out yesterday uh, driving my wife, and uh, you know, it's uh, it was slushy and uh, slippery. The main the main streets were pretty much okay. I don't you know. know. I think they but, did a pretty uh, good job with the side streets. The problem with the side streets is they shovel and then people throw everything is back in the middle of the street when they're doing doing their driveways and cleaning off the cars. Well, the bottom line is, you know, there's when you when you're shoveling your car out, there really is no place to uh, you know put the snow except in the middle of the street. And uh, then, you know, the plows come back and they just plow it right back up again, you know? Yeah, I'm just saying, um, so, so you can't really... That's, that's basically what happened to me, you know? I had uh, a neighbor help me out. He had a snowblower. And uh, this was Saturday, and when I got up on Sunday, uh, the uh, since there were no cars on the street, they came as close to the sidewalk as they could, which you would expect them to do, and then all they do is, you know, when they have those things angled, it just threw the snow right back on my sidewalk and uh, my driveway, and it's like I whatever I did before, I had to go digging it out again, you know. It's a good thing my neighbor came by again, and he saw it, and he really helped me out of a, a big jam, yeah. because, of, you know, otherwise it would have been a lot of shoveling. No, it is, but I'm saying, what I'm saying, though, is they... From what I see, they hit all the streets. And they're still hitting some streets in New York City, in, in Queens, that haven't done it yet. Well, the mayor outlined certain areas, you know. I don't know. I didn't hear him say anything about the Rockaways, but the uh, Rockaways is always one of the last places to ever get uh, plowed, you know. Well, they, uh, in particular, they picked up my old neighborhood, Middle Village. That was on the news because they always get left behind. That, that area well, always the price, gets... If I recall correctly, the problem with Middle Village is a lot of those side street areas are uh, very small, you know. The very narrow streets is very hard, exactly. To, very exactly. hard to plow. No, I know. I know. I remember in 1996, there was a snowstorm, and they, that's when I was living in the Queens in Middle Village, and they used a backhoe. To clean our street, they couldn't get any trucks in our street. Mm. Two in the morning. Well, that's, well, that's the problem. You know, you have when you have cars parked on either side. It's a matter of where do you uh, where do you direct the snow to go? You know, I mean. Uh, well, I remember with this guy, the backhoe driver boy. They, when he came down the block, all the neighbors were giving him hot tea, hot coffee. Hot chocolate, sandwiches, anything he wanted. <laughs> and he just kept going down, and people just kept shoveling, putting everything on him, and he'd take it out, bring it to the main street, and dump it. Yeah, he was on our street for a good four or five hours. One street. That was it. But well, the good thing hours. about where you live now is uh, the fact that you have, as I said, you have that. Uh, uh, empty, uh, it's sort of like a lot, you know, across the street from you, so they can dump a lot of snow in there without yeah. it uh, impacting upon anybody, really, you know? 
Well, you know, all they're doing is pushing it. They're not doing anything else. They're not building any big piles. You know, just pushing it to the side. You know, the trucks that we that they have can't really do much. They all they can do is push it to the side. You know, you know with the with the exception of uh, only a couple of cars. Now I have a, a long. I'm on a long street, and uh, uh, a few of my neighbors had managed to uh, get their cars, dig their cars out. You know, they moved the cars right away. You know, they put it in an area where uh, they knew it wouldn't be buried again. And if the plows did come down, you know. Uh, they figure that they would plow in front of uh, the house so they can then park their cars back in front of their house, you know. Yeah. But there's always, you know, whenever they show the city, they always show uh, areas where there's one or two cars that are, like, almost totally covered, you know. And the sad thing is uh, if they don't move those cars in a hurry, they're going to get ticketed, you know. No, there's no... they. All the old the street laws are uh, suspended. No, I, under, I understand that. But some of those cars, you know, if people work during the week, there's no way they're going to be able to dig the cars out, is what I'm saying. Yeah. So once they go back to regular alternate side, well, this, you know. Let's say February 1st is when they're going back to alternate side in New York. Well, believe it or not, February 1st is... Uh, <laughs> Next Monday. Yeah, I'm saying, but you know, it's, it's, they gave him they gave him a little bit of time anyway. It's sure it is next Sunday. <laughs> no, next Monday. Yeah. It's hard. It's hard to believe January is over with already. Yeah. We're into February. You got February, and in a few, you know, a few weeks in March, and by then, hopefully, you figure this the snow season is just about over. Well, you'd like to think it is anyway. Yeah, you would like to think. I'd like to think it's over today. Uh, that would be nice. Yeah. That certainly would be nice. The weather you know. is yeah, it's supposed to be in the 40s tomorrow. It's supposed to rain tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow is going to be in the uh, low 40s. So, And then with the rain, you figure a lot of this uh, will turn to slush and melt away. But then you really got to worry about the ice. Uh, at night, yeah, well, because uh, the temperatures at night are going to be in the twenties. Sure, you know. Uh, anything uh, going go, go, going away from weather, and uh, let's go back to uh, our uh, electioneering news. Anything going? Well, on? as I said uh, tonight, uh, in fact, as we speak, there's a town hall meeting in. Uh, I, I think it might be New Hampshire. I don't know if it's New Hampshire or Iowa. Uh, on uh, CNN, okay, with uh, the three uh, Democratic uh, candidates. Um, Each one is supposed to get about a, about a half an hour to talk, basically. Well, yeah, it's it's one of those, um, like, a, you know, stand-up sit-down, you know, uh the people in the audience, they say what they want to say, and then the people in the audience get a chance to ask each candidate individually, you know, uh, certain questions. Now, I don't recall, I don't think they, uh, I don't think they uh, respond to whatever the other person said unless it's being brought up, but uh, most of the time it's just the people in the audience have their questions, and you know, they're able, the candidates are able to address their questions. And uh, Thursday, you got the last of the Republican debates before the uh, Iowa caucus and uh, in New Hampshire. You know, that's going to be on uh, CNN again. It's going to be on CNN? Yeah, all right. Oh, no, it's on Fox, rather. I'm sorry, it's on Fox. Anybody boycotting this time? Oh, I don't know. Rand Paul uh, hasn't said nothing. He, he hasn't said anything, and uh, I really don't know. Yeah. Looking at the numbers, I think Bush may make it to the uh, bottom pack. Yeah, well, uh, you know, they, something very uh, upsetting for him, I would assume, as a former governor of Florida, you know, Florida came out with... Uh, 
the re- most recent poll, and uh, Bush was only polling at 4%, which is horrendous, you know, considering he was governor, two-time governor of the state, you yeah. know, and considered a rather successful governor, you know. And where was Trump? Oh, of course, he was on top, 41%. Yeah, and I guess Rubio was in there. Rubio came in second at uh, 21, 22%. Still very far behind Trump. Yeah. But, you know, uh, no one else really to speak of, you know. That's, that's really strange how the Florida just getting, you know, no respect for either of those guys. Rubio, Cruz. Well, or uh, Ruby or uh, Bush, Jeb. Well, you know, I I I happen, you know, when you listen to Jeb, I mean, he he seems like he seems so out of place being up there because he really seems like a nice guy, you know. Um, same thing with Kasich, although Kasich's numbers are rising in New Hampshire. Yeah, you know, uh, he may come in second. Well, Which would know, be a big coup for him if he came in second in New Hampshire. He's sort of you an alt- alternate to uh, you know to all the businessmen, and you know. Well, he's uh, certainly I'd... a moderate Republican, and uh, you know he's he's governor of Ohio, and he was uh, a member of Congress. You know, uh, helped uh, balance a budget. You know, back in the nineties. When he was a young congressman, you know, under the Clinton administration, he was a Republican, obviously, you know. But uh, he seems to have, in in uh, ordinary uh, circumstances, he would be, you know, what the people would be looking for. You, you would know? Think, yeah, because he's he seems reasonable. He says he, you know, he'll cross the you know, he crosses the lines to to negotiate with people. He, he says you have to cross the line to of get in there. That's right. That's right. You know, but uh, it's people. People want to change. That's why Trump is doing so well. You know. Um, yeah. Look, right now it's it's all talk. Let's see what happens with the caucus and. Uh, yeah, Bernie. With the, uh, yeah, Bernie's primary doing... in uh, New Hampshire. Yeah, Bernie's doing well also. He's ahead in both. I think he's ahead in... Well, it, dep- it depends... It depends which... Uh, it depends which um, poll you're, uh, you're reading. You know, the, the with every poll that comes out, the numbers are so much different. You know, the only thing is in the, the Republican polls, always have Trump on top, Okay. Yeah. It's just a matter of what his lead is. Uh, in the uh, Democratic, uh, you know, polls, you know, so sometimes back and forth. Bernie is on top, sometimes Hillary is on top. Yeah. The only one who's not, <laughs> who's not changing too much is O'Malley, yeah. you know. I am he, to like him. Hey, I like him too, but the thing is, he... You know, again, this is uh, his campaign's going nowhere. And once we get finished with Iowa and uh, and uh, you know North uh, uh, New Hampshire, I don't think I don't think he's got much money left in his campaign to keep going. I wonder if he just yeah, he just tried to shoot for vice president. Well, I think basically that's what he's doing now. You know, by staying in as long as he is and by getting his point across, uh, he's uh, the governor of a a southern... He was the uh, governor of a southern state, you know, so uh, I believe it was governor. So uh, talk about balancing a ticket, you know, just like Kasich on the Republican side, you know... um, being the go, I mean, Ohio is a big state. It's always a swing state, and uh, you know he may be, uh, you know, uh, just staying in long enough to get his point across, so that maybe you know somebody like Trump 
Yeah, I haven't heard him uh, put him down too much. No. 